Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we're going to take a look at Maxima by Fred Anton Corvest. Now Fred uh, previously brought us the FAC chorus, which is like the best chorus ever. It's just remarkably good. Now this is extremely good at what it does. It's a max. It's called Maxima. It's a maximizer limiter. Um, these are essential, you know, because if you've got a quiet track, you want to boost it, but you don't want to change the quality of the sound or push the volumes up so it starts clipping and stuff. Um, <clears throat> limiters are, are really important. So, uh, and this is it's exceptionally good at what it does so what i'm going to do you get like like a few presets and things here i've got this set on master we'll run through some of the different presets it's very very easy to use it requires zero brain power just set it how you want it to sound and you're good to go so i'm going to play a track <clears throat> which goes through lots of different changes so it's kind of like there's classical bits rock bits synthy bits stuff like that uh, strange bits uh so it's ideal for this because it, a, it pushes it through all its uh you know, it puts it through its paces, basically, just this one track. And it's a track that never found its way onto any of... And it's, it, it's, it was written for a Doug and Colin thing, but we didn't... It doesn't... It just doesn't fit in anywhere. Uh, so it's just good for... It's called Adventures of the Inner... Oh, what's it called now? Inner Ear Adventures or something. It's been locking around for ages and ages. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's all, it was all... It was a desktop thing, anyway. So I'm going to play that with the file player and just blast through some of these things. So it's extremely good. There'll be links in the description uh, if you want to buy it and there'll be pop-ups and things on the video. So here we go. I'm going to close the microphone so you can hear it. And I'm going to start with it bypassed. So we'll bypass it and I'm going to play the track thing. So you can see that you have your gain stage in here, so your input gain, your output gain. You can even mix between the two signals, which is very, very nice. So we'll carry on with a bit. Another nice thing to notice as well on the display, you'll see when I play it again, the the lighter the the, the lighter uh, waveform is obviously the actual original, and you can see what the maxima is doing to that signal. So for when you you like render it, you'll get your bigger waveform. Obviously, you want it to be much bigger if it's a master track, and uh, yeah. So there you go. <laughs>
So there you go. There it is on that. So basically, you don't really need to hear anything else with it on drums or anything like that. Uh, because basically that track uh, is kind of kind of covers a lot of different ground for a for a limiter for anything really so you can see that it really did a great job of pulling the lead the, the really loud bits back and then boosting the really quiet bits without it actually making it sound any different than it's supposed to be that your mix has already done now that track isn't even mastered yet so i mean it would sound much better initially before it even went into this but yeah i, th I think it's great it's fantastic for tracks that need if you're in Cubasis or something, because it's an AUV3 as well, it works in all your AUV3 hosts and stuff. So it's very cool. You can have as many of these running as you want. It's going to be very, very, very easy going on the actual uh, the DSP, as you can see here. So it's very cool beans. But you see, Fred Anton Corvest, you see, he makes very easy, very simple apps, but they're very, very, very good quality. And that's what you want. It's the quality you want, you know. That's that's all you need. Maximizers and limiters, they're really essential things to have. So I really suggest if you want a good one, to get this one. You know, you, you ain't gonna go much much further uh, wrong with this. Okay, um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, there'll be links in the description below, etc., etc. Uh, please like the video if you liked it. Consider subscribing to the channel and seriously consider becoming a Patreon. And it's very cool. Uh, anyway, the links and things popping up for all that stuff. Okay, guys, thanks. I'll see you later.